It's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 24, 2020 1 John 5 verses 11 to 15 Verse 11 And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. 12 He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. 13 these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 15. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy To live for self is to perish. Covetousness, the desire of benefit for self's sake, cuts the soul off from life. It is the spirit of Satan to get, to draw to self. It is the spirit of Christ to give, to sacrifice self for the good of others. Christ Object Lesson, page 259 Faith is an essential element of prevailing prayer. Read Hebrews 11 verse 6 and 1 John 5 verses 14 to 15. With the persevering faith of Jacob, with the unyielding persistence of Elijah, we may present our petitions to the Father, claiming all that he has promised. The honor of his throne is staked for the fulfillment of his word. By Ellen G. White Prophets and Kings, pages 157 to 158 Background Piano Music by Evelyn Adil Salabio Music Director at Maxwell Adventist Academy